So while most of you probably won't find yourself using this Kaiser Power Rack, at least at first, it's something to at least know how to use if you ever end up getting to the point where you want to use it, if you really enjoy squats or doing bench presses or something like that. Well, for bench presses and things like that, we've got chest press options that will probably be better for you anyway. Some people just love the feeling of squatting. So I've got this awesome Kaiser Power Rack, which is different from squat racks in that we have an option to use this extremely lightweight six pound bar and not put any weights on it. So what you do is you just kind of either rack it up on here or up in these little hooks. I'm gonna put it down here for right now. Then you take, you wanna make sure there's not very much resistance on the machine. There's a little pedal down here on my left, makes the machine have less pressure on it and the one here on the right puts more pressure on it. So you wanna make sure that there's not a lot of pressure on the machine so that you can easily pull these cables up and hook them right onto this bar You'll see how that fits on it if you use it. And now what you can do is you can do squats or deadlifts or whatever you want to do with a machine that has no mass on it and therefore no inertia. So you can do explosive squats on it and work on some power output if you wanted to or if I've told you to. And I also have these little wedges over here that you may want to end up putting kind of underneath your heels to elevate your heels a little bit if I've told you to use that when you use this machine. And then you just nice and smoothly in this example, drop down and smoothly pushing yourself up. But this is one of those machines where if you make it nice and challenging, you can actually get away with a little bit more explosive type movements. And because there's no mass, it doesn't accelerate, which means you're resisted through this entire motion. So you can do your squats. I'll eventually get the bench for this. So you can do bench presses on their specific bench. And then when you're done with it, you plan on coming back, you can just leave it hooked up. If you're done, take a bunch of the pressure off, bringing it down to probably somewhere around 20 or 15 if you're not as strong and have a harder time managing the cables. Then you unhook it, place it back down in its little cable track. And then this lightweight bar lives right up here. And then eventually I'll be getting a real bar, a real squat bar, kind of a weightlifting bar, upon which you can place these little caps on the end so you can put weights on the machine or on the bar and then also put this on the end with the cables to dampen the inertia with that. Again, most of you probably won't find yourselves using this too often. It's got these pull-up attachments as well with some you know, offloading adjustments and things like that for most people that are coming in here, probably you included. You won't spend a whole lot of time on this. However, if you're feeling a little crazy and you like to squat or you used to squat when you were younger, you wanna see if you can, this is a great option for that. So that's how you use the power rack and uh, put stuff away when you're done with it if you choose to use it.